So maybe you've heard the rumors. Only 16% of our high school students are proficient in math and science. Not only that, but 33% of teachers who teach STEM subjects have a STEM degree. However, 2.4 million STEM jobs go unfulfilled. So in this video today, I'm going to show you why Kanye West STEM player is important to STEM education and STEAM education. Watch this. Hey, 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 what's going on? Cantus Simmons here. Welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Uh, preferably, you've been having a great day, a great, great week. Uh, when this video is released, it's in February uh, 2, 22, 22. Hey, it's an awesome day to be alive, not only because of this date, but also um, this is the date that's rumored that Kanye West's STEM player is being re-released, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, by the way, if you are uh, a student or a parent, and uh, you say, hey, Cantus, I need more help with my study skills. I need more help with studying my subjects, getting better grades in school. Uh, just because you're watching this video, I want to give you a really cool resource. Uh, it's my free study skills course. Just by you showing up, just by you tuning into this video today, uh, simply go over to CantusSimmons.com forward slash study skills. Yes, CantusSimmons.com forward slash study skills is going to give you access to my free seven day study skills challenge every single day. I'm going to give you a new habit, a new study tip that you can use to raise those grades. So uh, just because you're here, I want to go ahead and give you that free, free resource. Uh, CantusSimmons.com forward slash study skills. All right. So today is two. 22, 22, and it's rumored that uh, Kanye West's STEM player uh, is coming out on the market. And um, why am I even talking about it? So the other day, a dear friend uh, messaged me on Facebook and sent me a video of this STEM player. And so immediately when I saw it, I saw S-T-E-M. I'm thinking like STEM player, right? For those that don't know, STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and math. That's the field that I'm in. Uh, that's the field I've been in over the last 20 years. Encourages students to learn STEM, love STEM, and love uh, and, and uh, learn STEM, love STEM, and uh, live STEM. And so when I got this message from my friend, I'm like, "What? Kanye West is in the STEM education field?" And I started doing some research, and basically, uh, Kanye, uh, I'm a I'm a fan of Kanye. Uh, I sort of became a Kanye West fan when he started doing his gospel albums. Um, I'm a choir director. I love gospel music and Kanye West and Sunday Service Choir. Ah, I love their sound. So I became like a Kanye West fan during that time period. And then last year, Kanye West released Donda. That's an album named after his mom. And it's rumored that he's supposed to be releasing a new album here, Donda 2. And uh, as doing my research, I heard back uh, a year ago, well, late last year when he released Down to One, he released it on this STEM player. And the, the I, and I'll, I'll post a picture on the screen what the STEM player looks like. But the idea was it was, a, it was to allow users to customize uh, his songs and his features. I'm reading right off of what the STEM player is. The STEM player allows users to customize any song and features the vocal controls, the beat, you can control the samples, you can control the real-time loop, and speed control, and the ability to save, playback, and download mixes, and much more. So I believe the first time he tried to release this was to put his Dondo One album on uh, the STEM player. And actually, it's rumored that on this day, STEM, um, he released the Dondo Two album on the STEM player. Why, you know... I hear that a lot of artists are disappointed with, you know, the income they get from having their songs on Apple and Tidal and all the other cool streaming places. So Kanye, um, probably other people as well have been looking for ways to maximize on their business. And so I started thinking, hmm, 
stem player. And the stem player that Kanye is talking about is not the stem that I talk about, but there is a direct correlation. All right. So a stem player in this word of stem in the music production field, that simply means that artists or musicians, it's a production term where a stem can be a track of music or a track of sounds or a track of loops. And in the music production field, while they're mixing, they mix these stems together to make a song. So that's what happens in the music production field. STEM education, which I'm passionate about, science, technology, engineering, and math, is a, a curriculum, is a field of study uh, whereby we help our students learn these STEM fields. A few years ago, we've turned the phrase STEM over to STEAM, where we've now have incorporated the arts into STEM. So we got science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So why am I shooting this video on Kanye West's STEM player and its importance to STEM education? Well, I want to show you why what he's doing and what other people have done, why it is encouraging our students to uh, pursue STEM careers, learn the foundations of STEM, learn um, the foundations of STEAM, and why our country needs this. Now, if, you, if you've never heard the background of STEM, uh, some years ago, 19, in 1950s, uh, the Soviet Union released Sputnik, right? And you know, here in America, United States, we don't like to lose. However, when the Soviet Union released Sputnik, um, our country started, the government put money into creating NASA, all right? And NASA, National Aeronautics Space Act, back in 1950s. And they started putting a lot of money into science, technology, engineering, and math. So they started putting out grants, started putting out scholarships, started allowing people to do major, major research so that we can, number one, defend our country, but also become the leaders in this field. And so over years, we've put money and in research into STEM education. And I'll even show you a chart of how STEM education was rising. People were getting degrees, people getting the PhDs in these STEM fields. And round about 1992, things dropped off, right? Things dropped off. And I asked myself for years, why did we see this drop off in 1992? Now, if you were around in 1992, uh, you remember what came about in 1992. Yes, the internet. And so our country went from a place of creating to a place of now looking at what everybody else was doing. And we see this huge drop off. So we start getting on the Internet. Uh, I remember dial up like bing. What was that AOL back in the day? Right. People start getting on dial up and uh, they start researching and looking at what other people were doing, taking other people's research and um, now we are becoming viewers versus creators. And what happened is that we started seeing this drop off. And then we started seeing our students not proficient in science, technology, energy, and math. We started seeing our, our high school graduates, like number 23, number 30 in math and science when they come out not being prepared. And then we saw so many teachers going through school not getting a STEM degree, but once they got in the field of education, they had to now teach STEM subjects. And so we are here where we are today in 2022. Yeah, we're not the leaders right now, but it's so important that we continue to push STEM and STEAM education. I want to give you seven. How about I give you 7.25 reasons, um, 7.25 benefits of STEM. Why? STEM must be important in your household, why STEM must be important in our country, why STEM and STEAM must be important in your school. Number one, I believe STEM encourages creativity. It encourages creativity. You know, I'm looking at Kanye West STEM player and this really cool device and I may just purchase one. They say it's $200. I may just purchase one. Maybe somebody out there buy me a STEM player, mail it to me. Just DM me if you really want to mail me one. I, I may just buy one just to play with it, right? But it encourages creativity. So you look at this STEM player, right? And uh, I believe that, you know, if it comes out, it has Kanye West's Donda 2 album on it. 
but you can also load other songs on it, right? So now a student or a young person can be, cre- or even an older person, can be creative enough to remove certain stems, remove certain layers of the song, and mix it with something else. Not only that, let's think about the world that we live in, right? How we're seeing more and more students being creative with their cell phones. How more and more companies are being creative on how they get food out or how uh, how technology is being released. STEM encourages creativity. Number two, it encourages resilience. It encourages resilience. Now, as I was doing some, uh, some work with the STEM player, uh, Kanye tried to release this. The first time when he uh, released Donda 1. And it did okay, but it wasn't a thing that, you know, took over the industry, right? He released it on the stem player, but then the song also released on the streaming uh, the streaming devices. I also think about Apple, right? Resilience. So this is an iPhone 13. You think about the resilience of Apple. After 13 iterations, staying with a certain product until now, it is is where it is today. STEM encourages resilience in our students. Sometimes things don't work. You stay with it. Whether you're working on a science experiment or you're working in the area with math, you stay with it and you build up that I won't quit until I get it mentality. So STEM encourages resilience. Number three. STEM encourages experimentation. It encourages experimentation. Now, of course, uh, with my background, I worked many years at NASA, then I also worked um, years at Ciba Vision developing contact lenses. So I worked in the lab for many, many years, right? And I think about experiments. Experiments is where we take some foundational things that we know, and we try to put what we know together to solve a problem to come up with answers that we don't know. Experimentation, a uh, good friend of mine, uh, Brandy, her and I always talk about how uh, life is an experiment, right? I believe STEM encourages experimentation, taking some things that you do know and you build in foundations to answer questions that you don't know. Number four, STEM encourages teamwork. It encourages teamwork. Now, You know, I believe uh, Kanye is a brilliant musician. I think he's a brilliant person. But I do know that he probably didn't build a STEM player by himself, right? He had to develop a team, a team of engineers, a team of other people, where together they can put a team to produce this product. As we look at our world today, we have so many different type of races, ethnic groups, uh, individuals coming together together to make the world a better place. And I believe when students are in STEM or STEAM education, it encourages teamwork. Number five, it encourages knowledge application. Knowledge application. You know, the other day I was speaking at Friends University in uh, Wichita, Kansas, and I do, I was doing a keynote speech, and um, I was talking to the students about how STEM is everywhere. That's the name of my keynote. STEM is everywhere. And I was showing them how we can take Uh, Different things that we know, like different industries, fashion, security, education, sports. And then now taking something, let's say Bluetooth jeans, right? We can make Bluetooth jeans. That was one of the ideas that came out of the fashion industry. Hopefully nobody patents that. But (laughs) in talking about Bluetooth jeans, we were now able to add some knowledge and apply it to create Bluetooth jeans or a concept for a Bluetooth jeans. Jeans. STEM encourages knowledge application. Taking what you know, whereas chemistry or biology or engineering or calculus, taking what you know and now applying it to a certain field. STEM encourages tech use. STEM encourages tech use. Now, you see what's been going on these last few years in our world, right? Uh, just look about how the food industry has been using tech to to grow the food industry, like DoorDash and Uber Eats and all of these Instacart. Listen, I love shopping, grocery shopping on Instacart. It's the use of technology. Not only that, but think about how education has transformed, how corporations have transformed using technology 
We have virtual learning. We have virtual meetings. We have virtual conferences. We have virtual concerts. We even have virtual weddings. Why? Because of technology. So STEM encourages tech, tech use. Number seven, STEM encourages problem solving. Yes, problem solving. I believe that you are effective in life. Like people, I tell people all the time, I tell young people all the time, if you want a job, if you want to make money, learn how to solve problems. If you can solve problems, you will always be employed, regardless of what industry it is. But I believe STEM encourages our young people. It encourages students to solve problems. When things are broken, if you can fix them, if you can take uh, the different areas of technology and math and engineering and put those things together to solve problems, you will be employed. And lastly, STEM encourages adaption. Some kind of way as a people, these last few, few years with all the different changes, with all the different things that have happened in our world medically, we've learned to adapt. Yep, some people didn't make it. Some businesses didn't make it. Some restaurants didn't make it. Some, some industries didn't make it. But check this out. There are a lot of new industries, a lot of new jobs, a lot of new opportunities that came out of this. STEM encourages adaption. We learn how to adapt. I've learned how to adapt. When, when things didn't go a certain way in the laboratory, I've learned how to come up with another concept to develop that. STEM and STEAM education benefits our students even more. And shout out to Kanye West and his entire team for creating the, the STEM player. Hey, I'm not sure how successful it'll be. Hopefully it'll go well, but I love the fact that it is encouraging individuals to now be creative and do things with music that people normally can't do on their iPhone or their streaming device, but now taking this little STEM player and giving people an opportunity to do whatever they want to do with it. So shout out to Kanye West and his entire team. But I want to say this to you. STEM is everywhere. Your students or you, you have to learn it. I believe you should love it. And I believe that you should live it. Why? Because it is a part of our culture and our world. All right. I'm Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. Remember this. Hey, uh, just because you're here, have a really cool resource to help you improve your study skills, whether you're studying STEM, liberal arts, whether you're in English, whether you're doing research, whether you're in nursing. Hey, I want to help you get those better grades. If you go over to CantorSimmons.com forward slash study skills, just because you were here to watch this great video, I want to help you continue to get better grades, whether you're in middle school, high school, or college. Hey, go over to cantorsimmons.com forward slash study skills. Remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey!